Welcome to HodgePodge Australia. Today we're making a reindeer cupcake pull apart cake. What you are going to need for this is 20 cupcakes. Count them. 20. I did. We have white buttercream, red buttercream, a nice milk chocolate buttercream, and I also have a dark chocolate buttercream because we just need the two tones of brown and milk chocolate and dark chocolate buttercream is fantastic and there you can see i have positioned the cupcakes in sort of a shape face with his two eyes and some horns for the antlers now when you're happy with the position of your cupcakes just stick them down onto the board with a little bit of icing i have covered my cake board in just some lovely foil christmas wrapping paper we're going to start off with the closed star tip which is a 2d tip from wilton and this is with our dark chocolate buttercream we're going to make just little star impressions all the way over the face so he's going to have a really i wanted to do sort of a fluffy face because obviously he's a reindeer he's fluffy he's got hair and yeah, you know, i didn't want just a smooth face for him i wanted it to look like he was hairy and furry and you could pat him a little bit bear like so use that star tip to just do little stars all the way around your cake with this, you can see I'm going to go around the outside of the ear and I'm going to leave a section blank in the middle, which we're going to fill in with the milk chocolate so he gets the definition of his ear. So go around just gently, making sure that there's no holes or gaps in between your buttercream. You get those stars nice up and against each other. It doesn't matter if they overlap because it just adds to that effect of him being nice and hairy. Looking at that, he reminds me of Fozzie Bear. Then just continue covering the entire cake in those stars. So you can see there, I'm just covering the entire body. You're going to add the eyes and the nose over onto the top. So you don't need to worry about leaving any gaps. Just make sure that's all covered. Fill up your piping bag again if you need to. Don't put too much icing into your piping bag to go with because if it's hot weather like mine, your hand is going to get hot and it's going to melt your buttercream. So make sure you just have a reasonable amount in there. But there you can see the finished effect of our lovely fluffy reindeer face. I really like this texture. I was really happy with the way it came out. Then using a small closed star tip with the milk chocolate, you can see I'm just going to add in exactly the same thing, just small stars inside his ears. So he gets that lovely definition of ears that you always see on stuffed animals and, well, animals in general, but mainly stuffed animals. They always have that outer dark area and the nice light section of their ear in the middle. Since I am rambling, let me also mention, make sure you're following us on social media and you subscribe to us here on YouTube. We do put up videos once a week and we keep you abreast of what we're up to on our social media. All the links will be at the end and in the description box below. But now I've rambled too long. You can see here I have an open tip, just a large tip, and I am using the milk chocolate to go over our antlers. Now, instead of individually decorating these cupcakes, these ones I am going to smooth over. So I'm simply going to put all the icing all over these cupcakes and then using a butter knife, I am going to smooth that out. You could individually ice these cupcakes with like a rose swirl, but I liked them all joined together. Then grab your white buttercream with a large open tip on it and simply do a big blob and using the tip to push it out a little bit so that it's not just a perfect big blob. You do get a little bit of size on it. Just push that white buttercream out so that you get even eyes. If you need to fix up the first one like I do, just go for it, add a little bit more icing. Then getting your red buttercream, which has the exact same tip. I think it's just a really big number 17 pastry tip you're going to add in the big red nose because what is a Christmas reindeer without a big red nose? So just put in lots of red icing, swirl that all around so that it all matches up. And then you've only got one step to go and that is to add his pupils onto his eyes. And that is so super simple. Just grab a little bit of extra dark chocolate icing that you have there, put it in a Ziploc bag because you don't need to waste another piping bag and just snip the tip off the edge. Then just add in a couple of pupils where you like it. You can always make him look cross-eyed if you want a really goofy reindeer. You can put him looking to the side if you want him to look a little bit wary. I'm going to go with looking down because he needs to be looking where he's going in order to deliver those presents to everybody on Christmas Day. That is a super simple but very effective reindeer cupcake pull-apart cake which is perfect for any sort of Christmas gathering breakup that you might have because then you don't need to worry about a knife you don't need to cut up the cake i do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial do subscribe to us here at hodgepodge australia and we will see you again real soon